and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide today. I'm gonna be going over all the confirmed golden tickets now, as you guys do know. I've sporadically put them throughout some of my other videos and gotten them through to you guys for all you who watch, but you guys, for all you guys who haven't watched every single content video, you might have missed some. So I'm gonna be going over all the confirmed golden tickets so far up to this point. I'm gonna be showing you guys them, going over some of the stats, going over like what I think they could be, the archetypes, and kind of what the uh, the thought process is. Remember, the way you design these players really helps you like the way you design them are important because if you design them properly you can get certain thresholds that will like a certain abilities combination like let's say let's say you went all juke elusive spin then your guy could only get the you can get evasive jukebox spin moss spin cycle jukebox and evasive it's like that was kind of a waste because all of that evasive does all of that so you might want to maybe spread out what you want to put it on maybe put one on juke spin already hits the threshold so just put the other one on juke to hit the threshold and then focus on like agility for human joystick there's so many possibilities if you do it properly but guys, let's head over to the auction block and show you guys some of the cards, like their current cards and what I think they could end up being. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on the bell, boys. Come join the family. Now let's head over to one of the first ones, which was Calvin Johnson tight end. Now as you guys do know, Calvin Johnson tight end is one of the more solid picks. It's going to be super glitchy depending on how they make it. So my, my concern with the A is they didn't let us touch the physicality slots. So my concern will be with EA is that the way they end up doing it is that they end up screwing some of the cards that you have. Because very simply, they could just give them like really bad speed. But if they keep it true to Calvin, right? Let's look at this tight end card. This tight end card has an 87 speed. A 99 overall tight end will probably get a 94 speed. 94 speed plus sprinter. If that is the case and he ends up getting, he ends up getting like a 95, 96 speed at tight end, gonna be overpowered as hell. Not to mention all of his catch will be above 90 and his route running should be close to 90 as well. And his run blocking won't be great, but he's going to be like, it's pretty much like how you can't put receiver at head end and it would be super glitchy. You're going to be able to put a receiver at head end. So it's kind of like breaking the game a little bit. Now, as far as ability goes, you can probably get matchup nightmare. And he, let's see his stiff arm because that could really help too. With the right archetype, you could maybe get matchup nightmare, potentially get arm bar, maybe even get jukebox. If you add tight end, he can get juke, he gets four ability slots. So he can get jukebox, arm bar, matchup nightmare, and like red zone threat or whatever else you guys want, or um, apprentice or route master or whatever. He could be super glitchy at tight end. It really just depends because EA could make his speed only like a 92 to kind of screw him a little bit. I hope they don't, but it is a tight end position. So if they do, guys, there's just so much potential for this card. If he has an above, if he has close to 90 juke, above 90 spin, above 90 stiff, he's going to be the ultimate open field runner at tight end that you'll never ever see at tight end. Combined with a six foot five frame with great speed, he's going to be super OP. It's going to be like what uh, like everyone wants Evan Ingram to be every year. Going to be super overpowered. Next on the list is a guy that not many of you might know, but his name is Alvin Gentry. He's a Steelers tight end, as you guys are Zach Gentry. Sorry, I'm calling him Zach Gentry. 63 overall tight end, six foot eight for the Steelers. Guys, this card could be real beastly if things kick off right. If you get this guy with like matchup nightmare or like some kind of ability that guarantees cat like red zone threat, matchup nightmare, he's gonna be the ultimate weapon in the end zone, just based off of how you could use him. This card will probably have, let's see, if a 63 is a 71. He'll probably end up with like a 90 speed 91 speed probably low on the speed front i mean that's not exactly slow for a 63 at all but it'll probably end up around these uh like the 90 speed front and then his run blocking doesn't look like it's gonna be too great probably like a 75 run block but his catching could be really good now my my fear based off this card is that they're gonna give him really bad route running and really bad mobility so he's literally just gonna be a red zone threat which means he'll be a, he'll be like a glorified red zone threat so in best case scenario ends up with like a 90 speed like a 95 catch in traffic 99 catch like a 90 strength and he ends up having just six foot eight frame able to just beast guys with matchup nightmare in the end zone like kind of stop pulling the end zone high point beast can't get him that's the, that's the hope for him now there's some fear ea could ea them and really just kill his route running and his catching and make him just a really big guy which would kind of suck i really hope they don't base it off this card i hope they just make him to their their best extent i understand in real life he's not the greatest though so kind of hard to you know make him any better than it says already next we got another guy that was confirmed which is julio jones now julio jones could be insanely glitchy if properly made look at this card right here his next upgrade 99 gonna have close probably gonna have 96 speed plus sprint you're gonna get him to a 98 speed jumping's gonna be a 99 his catching all across the board probably gonna be like 97 96 and his route running will probably get to a 99 short close to 99 medium and like a 96 deep so he's gonna be one of the ultimate all-around players not to mention with the way his archetype is gonna be uh, made and the way they're gonna properly make this card is going to allow him 
to get a lot of like after the catch abilities so look at his excel look at his agility this is important his agility is 94 his next card if all goes well should have 99 agility because they will be boosting his agility that is the stat they're choosing to boost so oh and by the way with alvin gentry as far as boosting goes as far as boosting stats with alvin gentry which i forgot to mention the best stats for them to boost which they're, they're still talking about it the best stats for them to boost would probably have been since you can't do physical it gotta be his route running ask for some kind of route running or ask for some kind of catching traffic as long as the catching traffic is high and the route running is okay it could be very useful now julio they're thinking about doing agility so that we'll get to a 99 which should mean that he will get human joystick which will be super overpowered like tyreek gets human joystick right at wide receiver but tyreek's known to just run a guy like julio you gotta watch his his streak his post his slang you gotta watch every route that he's doing and on top of that also try to contain him it's gonna be super hard the julio could be really really good as well as they might be ju they're gonna probably be um touching his juke as well and by touching his juke, that should give him the necessary threshold for evasive, potentially, too. So he could end up... Well, if they do spin juke and they do... If they end up doing spin juke and agility, he could end up getting evasive. He could end up getting human joystick. He can get a uh, like route master. This car could be able to run any route in the book. Be able to juke you out like a running back. Be able to throw you, throw you down with a stiff arm. Be able to stop and go on you all day. He could be super glitchy and could be able to do everything on the field. He'll be probably even better than Calvin because Calvin can't get human joystick or evasive. Calvin's more like a catch and run kind of guy, like a straight line runner. Not much of an open field guy. Julio in the open field could really make plays. A lot of competitive players will probably end up liking him if he gets all that stuff because he's going to be like the ultimate skill guy. If you got skill in those sticks, you're going to destroy people with Julio. And even if you don't, he's going to be too overpowered not to. Next on the list, we got a guy that, like I said, he initially, the kid who got him backed out because I guess people were hating on him. But good for him. He stayed strong and ended up doing it anyways. He ended up making Lamar Jackson. At least that's his current confirmation. Now, Lamar Jackson, I'm actually excited for because for two reasons. That Lamar should kick down the price of this Lamar. So for all you guys who want Lamar Jackson, this price should come down quite significantly. Not to mention, we have Series 6 Redux Lamar coming, which should kick his value down. A power-up pass and golden ticket. Guys, all, all in all, that should kill this price of this Lamar Jackson. Now, that golden ticket Lamar won't be a lot much better than this Lamar. Only thing will be the stats they boosted. So pretty much take this card make him slightly better and then boost some stats so on lamar let's say you end up boosting in my opinion you boost the throw mid you boost the throw mid the throw power that's all you gotta boost that's all you gotta boost in lamar jackson boost that and uh agility do agility throw power and throw mid you do all those things you're gonna have the arm of mahomes the accuracy of mahomes the speed of saquon barkley combine that with the potential for like a human joystick type feel if you can or cannot get can or cannot get the ability if you can end up being human joystick he can maybe get evasive. I don't think I'd put evasive. I think I'd want human joystick. He'd get maybe gunslinger with that throw power. He could get potentially was gunslinger, human joystick, uh, dashing dead eye, and skate artist. This card would be the ultimate glitch. Like it'd be like Michael Vick in 05. I've been telling you guys. And this card, if you can't afford the golden ticket, this card should be pretty cheap. Because remember, he's getting a power pass that can cover him, a redux, and a card that will be essentially better than him. So. For all you Lamar guys who've been waiting out, here's your chance. And like I said earlier in early today's video, it's potential for a cowboy uh, for one of the other guys. So currently he's looking into it. It's looking like a Zeke potentially or Des Bryant. Either or. Zeke I'm not too excited for because the next Zeke probably only have like a 94 speed. It doesn't look like he'll have much more. Now you can't boost the speed. So probably like a 94. So max that will probably get like a 96, 97. Which isn't horrible. His Excel might be low. He looks like just like they made him like the jack of all trades this year. I've made him too great. Now if I was going to boost Zeke, I'd probably boost his break no his break tackle will get pretty high i'd probably boost his agility to ensure that his agility gets 99 for human joystick potentially and then his overall his car will be overall 99 and then i wouldn't really want armbar or anything on him at this point in the year it doesn't really work as well anymore as well as it used to on running backs because running backs deal with linebackers wide receivers are different because they deal with secondary guys like deon sanders you can easily easily throw to the ground i'd probably with him focus on agility and maybe the juke to make sure i get 99 agility and then, you know, if you could do strength, that'd be awesome. You could make some running backs really strong. I wouldn't really be a fan of the Zeke if it came out. I get a gameplay with him, but I wouldn't be a fan. And then Des Bryant, guys, just to cap off. He would be more like an open field guy. He'd be like a similar type build to Julio, but less, I think, slower. But like similar to open field, juke, spin, stiff arm, route running, catch. I just think that, but I think they'll both be a little bit slower. Julio will be faster than Des, in my opinion. But Des could be super cool. Des would, if I would boost Des, you got to boost, I think, his catch and traffic. Uh, I believe his after the catch stats are usually pretty good. I would boost his agility as well, see if we can get that to 99. And then, of course, his stiff's already going to be high, so probably his juke. If so, you could probably, if they do dead, it'll probably be very similar to a Julio Jones type card. But, guys, this is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I don't know when this will be going up because I will be going on vacation, so it could be tomorrow, could be the next day. 
when you guys see it enjoy if you guys are new subscribe turn that on about boys from join the family and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up comment down below if you have any other questions about confirmations or if any of you guys want golden tickets and want help with me building it by all means go ahead thank you guys for watching i'm out peace